Guys, um, if you guys can't tell by the way that I'm dressed, I'm a world traveler. Traveling the world. Just came back from the most racist place on earth, uh, Xbox Live. Have you guys been? <laughs> you been to Xbox Live? It's the most racist. I was playing against what could be described as a as a Midwestern 12 year old Hitler. Uh, <laughs> He had a racist gamer tag, but it was kind of sexy, but it was racist at the same time. It was, uh, it was, a uh, nigga killer 69. It's like, whoa. You were sexy fucking racist. At one point during the game, uh, like, five white kids chased me, so I felt like a virtual runaway slave and shit. And they hung me up on a tree, like, what button do you press to hang a nigga up on a tree in a video game? Is it, like, left, left, right, KKK? I don't fucking know. Sweet. I'm not even mad about the nigger part, I'm mad about the number part. 69? So there's like 68 other nigger killers on Xbox Live just roaming free, just... I'm gonna play the Wii where it's safe for my people. Shit. <laughs> Guys, I was texting and driving the other day, which, PSA, I'm fucking awesome at it. Please do it. Uh, texting and driving, some lady pulls up next to me, rolls down her window, points to her phone and goes, no. No. And then she crashed into the car right in front of her. <laughs> mm. It was glorious. It felt so good. Best day of my life. It was, it was, it was great. Like I said, I am from Miami. Being from Miami, I worked on South Beach. Being from Miami and working on South Beach, you meet the most beautiful women you ever see in your goddamn life every 30 seconds. And it's ridiculous, you know? It's not fair being a man, you know? You're like, you're the hottest girl I've ever seen in my life. Forget you. You're the hottest girl I've seen in my life. Forget you. You're, you're a dude, still the hottest girl I've ever seen in my life. Well, fuck the shit out of you, sir. It was like that. I'm uh, single now, but when I was in a relationship, uh, I was younger, I used to say stupid things to girls all the time. It's dumb shit, right? I used to look at girls, I used to dead serious look at girls on the face and be like, hey girl, this right here is just attached to me. But it belongs to you. <laughs> why, why would I say that? Why would I, that's the most stupidest, that's, that's dumb. Why would you? I'm 30 years old, I, I, you know what it costs to maintain a vagina a month? It's like, just ridiculous, I would never do that. <laughs> but seriously guys, uh, I, was, I was running the other day, and I, I came across a bus ad, that was the most ridiculous bus ad I've ever seen in my life. It was uh, two guys hugging each other, and underneath it it says, AIDS, it's not scary. Which is bullshit. <laughs> Because AIDS is in my top five scariest things of all time. Number one is child support. Uh, <laughs> I pay child support every month, guys, and I don't even have children. It's just, it's in, just in case I fuck up. It's like I'm sure. So I'm gonna put you on child support. Too late, bitch. I'm already on it. It's a prepaid plan. <laughs> I love my mom. I love my mom. She's a great lady. Uh, she, uh, whenever we text each other, she likes to tag her text. Like, and then she signs herself as Mom Yay West. <laughs> That's what she calls it, Mom Yay West, because she's an obnoxious genius. Uh, she likes to cook you food that you hate to teach you a life lesson. I don't know if your parents ever do this to you, but she cooks me. She goes, "You should be grateful for these nasty ass liver and onions." <laughs> Because right now, there's a starving kid in Africa who'd be grateful. I don't know about you, but I've been hearing about the starving kid in Africa all my goddamn life. Someone give him, like, Jared from Subway's phone number. I don't know. Maybe not Jared right now, but he's going through something. And just because you're a starving African kid doesn't make you a better person than me. You know? This is where it gets quiet in the room. It's like, oh my god, right? You don't think right now there's two starving African girls hating on each other right now? You don't think that's happening? You don't think one of them is like, psst, that bitch thinks she's cute. Because she got both her feet. You don't think that's happening? Right? <laughs> she got like five less flies around her face. You don't think that's happening? Right? 
She sponsored. You don't think that's how this happened? Huh? It's just happened. Uh, I did. I did. I did come back from a trip. Though, all expenses paid. Um, I think it's called jail. It was a, it was a great place. Got arrested for being an NOB, a uh, nigga on a bicycle. It's a, wait, man, have you been a nigga on a bicycle for Halloween or anything? Like it's, it's great. I was I was going to get more alcohol and I accidentally rode my bicycle through a murder scene, which I don't know you couldn't do in America, which is crazy. Because I was blasting Taylor Swift full blast on my iPod. So I'm a fucking gangster like that. If Taylor Swift rode a bicycle through a murder scene, they'll fucking kick the dead body out of the way. You know that's true, right? So she can write a hit song about it. This is a part of the joke where people look at me, especially white people, like, oh god, another black guy talking about being black in America. Build a bridge and get over that shit. I get it, I get it. Have you ever seen a white person complain when their Starbucks order gets fucked up? Oh my god. <laughs> I paid my taxes. Fuck Obamacare. Yo, Obamacare's under there. Calm my cattle, nigga. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> so, white people, in closing, uh, just imagine that America is one huge Starbucks that always gets black people's orders fucked up. Like we walk up to the counter like, uh, order the Grande Freedom? And you gave me a venti slavery? Why the extra whip? I didn't order the extra whip, this is bullshit. You guys have been an awesome crowd, thank you so much. My name is Rap.